In the World of Olympic steeplechase, no country comes close to Kenya. This 3,000 meter race may have its origins in a dash between village steeples in Gentile, England. But since 1968, it has been utterly dominated by the East Africans. Kenya missed the 1976 and 1980 Olympics for political reasons, but they won 21 of 30 medals available through the 10 Olympic Games with a clean sweep of gold medals. Perfection, 10 out of 10. It's not merely a domination, it's a monopoly. And here's something else. It's not like it's all because of one or two superhuman individuals. These 10 goals have been spread around nine different men. The Magnificent Seven. There's nine. The Hateful Eight. Nine. Oceans Nine? Better. In 1968, Amos B. Watt set the ball rolling, a man whose technique was as unorthodox as his rise to fame. He leapt the hurdles with feet together and soared over the water jumps as if the shallow pool was full of crocs. But B. Watt became an inspiration a pioneer. His young countryman who admired his gold medal soon set about emulating him. In 1972 in Munich, Biwat was back, but back in sixth. The gold and silver hung around the necks of Kipchoge Kenyo and Ben Jipcho, who went toe to toe until Kano streaked clear at the death. In 1984, after the boycott, Kenya came back with a bang. American Henry Marsh was the man who was supposed to have the final kick, but Julia's career showed him how it was really done. The Kenyan momentum was just getting started. Seoul 1988, Kenya one and two. Julia's Kariuki powered to a new Olympic record. Kenyon swept the board in Barcelona in 1992, even with world champion Moses Kiptanui injured. In the Olympic final, Matthew Beerer tore his shoe after a collision with an Algerian runner, but still battled back from ninth to win gold. It then went to Joseph Ketter in 1996. and Ruben Koskai in 2000, but only after an almighty tussle. The Kenyans went to Greece in 2004 and finished one, two, three, with Ezekiel Kemboy holding off Caprito and Kutch. It's a sweep, gold, silver, and bronze for Kenya. Each of them checked down the back straight that they were on for the sweep, then celebrated as one as the track lay scattered with the defeated. Caprito upgraded silver to gold four years later in Beijing. But back to Ezekiel Kemboy. The man from Rift Valley Province, an Olympic champion in Athens, was still going strong in London 2012. At the end of a competitive tactical race, Camboy became the first man to win two golds at the Olympic steeplechase. He swapped his vest with the second place Frenchman, Bahadain Mackesi Penabad, but there was no doubting, Camboy was Kenyan. Analysts have tried and usually failed to figure out how one nation can be so good at one discipline. They point to genetics, national diet, and a life lived at altitude. Maybe, but maybe it's all about passion. Kip Kano nailed it in 1972 when he said, I had a lot of fun jumping the hurdles.